the network. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man Corey, and today I want to give you guys another look into some exclusive content from the Brand Man Network. Now, this particular clip is from my guy Russ B, and in it he touches on the importance of live shows and how you, the artist, can best capitalize off of those live show opportunities. And afterwards, I want to give my two cents on the whole live show thing from the perspective of Blue Summer and me being a promoter here in Atlanta. So, with that being said, let's dive right into the video. I got a question about uh, performing and how important that is at like, you can say like the building, the foundation stage. Um, so I used to live in, uh, I was living in Minneapolis for like seven, like seven years. Um, I just literally just moved to Iowa in January. And um, I met a lot of artists out there, had a lot of connections. And uh, I knew some artists that I don't know if you know the the venue First Ave. It's like the biggest one in Minneapolis. It's kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah. I do, I do actually. Right, right, right. So um, I had there were people there um, that had like what it seemed like a residency there. Um, they were like regular performers there. They perform at least once a month there, um, and then like some venues like in the the similar in like a similar size as far as capacity goes. Um, but then it didn't seem like their support really translated anywhere else. Um, because first of all, in their events, like they always had like at least like six or seven other artists on the bill. Um, and then like, you, you just didn't see the, I don't know, maybe like if in a crowd of like a hundred people, maybe like 20 were there for one artist and it was like divided kind of evenly. Um, but then when I would try to get, uh, I, I have about like a similar, you know, support system as, as they do, maybe even a little bit, uh, a little bigger or higher. And um, I'm unable to book those places for whatever reason, whether it's due to connections, maybe they perceived uh, audience size, I don't know. Um, but I was wondering, uh, is it like how important it is to perform at that stage? Because it kind of seemed like they were performing for the same people almost. Oh, for so, sure. Yeah, so I was, I was just wondering, like, how how important it is to do that on a regular basis, and then if so, like, how to go about it. Like, are you like try to get on other artists' uh, shows so that you're getting in front of a different audience, or like set up your own, or like how you know? Yeah, that's the best uh, way, man. That's that's the that's the best way, but it's oftentimes the hardest way. Ideally, yeah, of course, you'd want to go on the, go on tour with a successful touring act that you know is bringing in the crowd already um right. but that's that's often difficult you know um um so I, I would say really like touring is something you kind of have to like rig the system you know so really it starts small you might have to do showcases but you have to make sure when you come to these showcases it's, it's like an unwritten rule of showcases that the, the best song never wins it's always whoever brings the most people, you know? So you kind of just have to play to these unwritten rules um, to the fifth power, you know? Um, if you know the showcase is gonna judge you off of who has the crowd more live, and you know whoever has the crowd more live is gonna be who bring the most crowd, um, show up with 50 people or, or get to the point where you can show up with 50 people then make a scene out of it, then put it on social media, then bring that clip to the influencers, make it a thing, you know what I'm saying? And, and just kind of like rig the system. There's a lot of shows that go viral when it's not really fans, it's just rappers in their neighborhood. Like it's, it's, it's the people from their neighborhood going crazy. But now people see that viral clip and they like, I have to be a part of that. Little do they know that it was actually manufactured you know what i'm saying so yeah. the live show is something it's something that um it's not the most urgent thing you know like definitely as an independent artist social media is is is, is definitely before that because if you have the presence there that'll bring you the live show but um as far as the live show you definitely just have to figure out ways to just rig the system and just kind of like you know take Every little situation, every little opportunity to the 10th power, 
you know? Like, if you ever do book a show, I, I'm telling the artist now that I manage, you know, he has a show on the 29th. And I'm like, yo, if you plan on going up on that stage, performing and getting off, like like a regular set, you're bugging out. <laughs> you know, you're bugging out. Like, if you don't create some sort of moment out of this, you're bugging out. Because that's really how you have to look at every stage and every opportunity. Like, if, if you get invited to go up and freestyle at Hot 97 or just interview at Hot or just do an interview anywhere, you need to look at every opportunity as an opportunity to maximize attention. Or just, or, or, and if you don't, you're just going to be in safe and it's just going to end up fitting in with every, all the other noise that's going on. So that, that's how that's how I would say attack the live show. Um, go for go for the little opportunities you can, but make sure you maximize those opportunities. Don't just get up on stage, do some regular middle of the road performance, and get off and go home. It's the network. All right, guys. So there we have it. Those great gems from my guy Russ B. Now, the first thing that I want to touch on that he said is that if you're not getting booked for shows, if you're an artist who is looking to do more shows, but you're not actively getting booked for shows, the first thing you need to do is increase your presence on social media because that is honestly the most important thing. When we go to book acts for Blue Summer, which for those of you who don't know, Blue Summer is a festival-like event that me and some friends have created out here in Atlanta. Shameless plug. If you're here in Atlanta, come check out the next one. I'll put the link to those in the description below. When we go to book acts the first places that we look are for word of mouth through other artists that we've worked with through friends that we have through people in the scene whose opinions we respect but the main place we go to look for talent is through social media because what we look for is artists who are branding themselves and taking themselves seriously so when someone reaches out to us when we're told about a new act we go through their instagram feed see are they posting on brand content or do they look like a page of someone who is just kind of treating this like a hobby are they someone that we will want to build with and connect with so that we have them as a relationship for the next year two years three years and all these things that we get off of a first view from looking at their social media feeds which is crazy but it also shows just why you should be taking social media seriously and another thing with the whole show thing is that you want to start small now the best advice i give the artists is that i know that all of you guys would love to start out on the big stage you would want to be on rolling loud south by southwest stages a through c stages whatever the big stages are that you care about but a lot of you guys do not yet have the performance experience to make the most of these stages now performing live is just like any other skill set it is something that needs to be practiced that needs to be refined I've seen terrible performers turn into really great performers after months and months or even years of just consistent practicing at showcases, open mics, et cetera, et cetera. So before you start pushing for these big stages, find somewhere small to start out so that you can practice, so you can get the jitters out for those of you who are nervous on stage, or just so you have a place to practice and refine that show like I was just saying. If you are an artist who feels like, you know, they have the social media presence, you have the live show down, you're actively lit, but no one is still booking you, you do have the option to put your own events together. Now, it is a lot of work, but it's not as hard as you would think it is, especially if you have a team of people around you who are willing to help. But I've seen artists who have taken that route before where it's like, this promoter won't book me in the city, so cool, I'm gonna go throw my own event. They bring out two, 300 people and the event is branded to the specifications that they would like it to be, making it an overall experience for their fans and for the community of people that they're bringing around them. And then they can always take that event and make it leverage for promoters and artists that they wanna put on because every prom promoter works with an artist. But the event becomes leveraged outside of the musical situation of the artist, outside of everything else that they have going on. So I would advise you guys to seriously consider throwing your own events. Now, if you are an artist who are getting booked for shows, you're getting booked for them consistently, and you're looking to maximize these shows and make the best of those situations, the three pieces of advice or the three people on your team that you always need at every show is someone to collect content, someone to collect information, and someone to set up a merch table and try to make you some money back, right? You need the content people so that you can get the vlogs, so that you can get the recap videos, so that you can get the fan engagements, so that you can get those viral moment clips that Russ B was talking about for you to distribute. You need that, you absolutely, absolutely need that because in the social media age, if it is not documented, if we cannot see it with our own eyes, it never happened, we don't care about how many people are telling me that that show was lit. I didn't see it, so it doesn't matter. And of course, collecting information, collecting emails, having a person with some type of app on their phone to go around collecting emails or Instagram names or you know phone numbers for SMS, 
pretty much getting information from people who you may not be able to touch hands with because you're on stage or those people may leave before you get off the stage, but you want to get back in front of them so that you can remarket yourself to them so that you can try to put new material in front of them and hopefully convert them into fans of yours. And the third thing, of course, is having someone there to sell merch. Now, I feel like if you're at an event and you know you expect a decent sized crowd, you expect people to be there, why not try to make some of your money back? You will be surprised at what people will buy after they have had a good time at a show. Meaning that if your show was actually good, you created an experience, you created a moment, you were good live, you know, you were you were a great performer, people will go buy a t-shirt from you or a hat or a sticker. They will see the vision in you that you've been trying to get them to see and they will want to financially support you so that you can keep it going. And shows are the moments when I've best seen that capitalize on because there's all this energy around people are literally just caught in the moment like, oh my God, I had such a great time and they will spend money on you. So, you know, if you're going to be there, why not try to make some money back? Now, like I said earlier, this video was an exclusive look from the Brand Man Network. And if you have not yet checked that out, if you have not yet joined, I'll make sure to put a link to that in the description below so that you can go ahead and check all that out. Go ahead and see what we got going on over there. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time. It's the network.